In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 15, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Florida Panthers vs. Buffalo Sabres The Florida Panthers and Buffalo Sabres get set for a matinee affair on Saturday in Buffalo. The Panthers, winners of the President's Trophy last season as they finished with the most points in the NHL with a record of 58-16-6. They picked up right where they left off with an opening night victory. The Sabres, one of the worst teams in the NHL last season, also started off with a win with a 4-1 win over Ottawa at home. Florida is 45-19 in their last 64 games overall and 18 to 8 in their last 26 road games while the under is 5 to 0 in their last 5 games against the Eastern Conference. Buffalo is 4 to 0 in their last 4 home games and 7 to 17 in their last 24 division games while the over is 6 to 1 in their last 7 games following a win. Buffalo received a strong game from 41-year-old Craig Anderson in goal when defeating the Ottawa Senators on Thursday but will face a much tougher opponent on Saturday when hosting Florida. Florida took only 29 shots versus New York in its opening night victory but the the Panthers faced one of the NHL's better defenses and against Buffalo will take plenty more. The Panthers have dominated the Sabres, winning 23 of the last 31 overall and the favorite, in this case Florida, has won each of the last four games between the two. Sergei Bobrovsky is off to a strong start in goal for Florida with a 1.01 goals against average, pushing aside 32 of 33 shots he faced on goal. F. I get the reasoning for looking at Buffalo as a home dog as the Sabres usually start out well before fizzling out over the course of the season. However, despite getting the win in their opener, I'm really not all that high on the prospects of the Sabres this season as I just don't see the promise in this lineup. Florida is the better team from top to bottom and I expect them to come out and show it in a big way here. Florida's attack led by Petrus Hornfist, Matthew T. Kachuk and Alexander Barkov will be too much for the Buffalo Blue Line to contain. So the Florida Panthers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both teams made an offseason emphasis in cutting down goals against. Both would have played under this total in their opening night wins. The Sabres are 2-0-2 to, to, to the under in their last four and have improved what was a shaky blue line. The Panthers are 5-0-1 to, to, to the under in their last six and they have put an added emphasis on goal prevention this season. For anyone who watched the Panthers last season, seeing a total list at seven goals is no surprise. They were the only team to average more than four goals per game, but this new look Florida squad already looks more balanced. We have already discussed their new acquisitions, and their season opener proved that their approach is indeed more balanced. Florida defeated New York by a final score of 3-1, covering the puck line while also easily staying under the total. We have plenty of cushion with such a high total, not to mention the push condition. For all of the attention the Panthers offense gets, that's not to say goaltender Sergei Bobrovsky lacks talent. He was fourth in terms of goals saved above expected last season and is currently leading the league after the first set of games. He's just above Rangers goalie Igor Shesterkin, who won the Vezina Trophy for the league's best goaltender last season. Even if Bobrovsky Bobrovsky isn't quite on that pace. He can keep the Sabres in check on Saturday. Look for a tightly played, low-scoring affair that will stay below the game total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Vancouver Canucks vs. Philadelphia Flyers The Vancouver Canucks face the Philadelphia Flyers with both teams looking to start the season on the right foot. The Canucks lost their opening night game and will now travel across the country hoping to avoid starting the year with an 0-2 record while the Flyers weren't expected to compete in the Metropolitan Division but made a statement on opening night with a win on their home ice. Both teams are looking to improve from the previous season and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. Vancouver is 0-4 in their last four road games and 
at 8-0 in their last eight games played on two days rest while the over is 7-0 in their last seven games against the Metropolitan Division. Philadelphia is 0-6 in their last six games against the Western Conference and 1-7 in their last eight games against a team with a winning percentage below .400 while the over is 5-0 in their last five when their opponent allowed five or more goals in their previous game. The Philadelphia Flyers remind me a lot of the New York Giants as a team with a new voice leading the way is getting the most out of their players and leading to victories early in the season. The Canucks are coming off an awful defeat where they blew a 3-0 lead by allowing five consecutive goals and that is hard to bounce back from. Philadelphia scored five goals, including two in each of the final two periods, so they should be able to take advantage of weaker defensive lines. With Thatcher Demko in the net for Vancouver, it is difficult to expect much out of him as in his last 31 road games. He is giving up three goals per game and that is way too high for me to back until he proves to be better on the road. Philly should dominate this game at home and they should improve to 2-0-0 on the season while Vancouver falls to 0-2-0. The Vancouver Canucks are the better team on paper and the favorite has dominated the series between these two clubs. But the Flyers looked sharp in their debut and they're a dangerous club if the offense produces the way it just did. Also, there's a special type of energy in the air in Philly right now, with the Eagles and Phillies doing well. Maybe that rubs off on the Flyers and the whole city keeps winning. The fans will certainly be in the building and provide a hostile atmosphere. The Flyers as a home underdog continue getting us more money as Vegas and the public continue to be afraid of them. So the Philadelphia Flyers money line is our full game side pick. Philadelphia only attempted 25 shots in their first game of the season while Vancouver attempted 36. If the Flyers are going to continue scoring the puck, they need to be able to put more shot attempts up, especially against better defensive teams than the New Jersey Devils. Vancouver could not succeed on the power play as they scored just one time on eight different opportunities with a man advantage and that is demoralizing for an offense that needs to capitalize on any opportunities they can get. This Canucks offense is not what it was a year ago as they look a little more overmatched and are unable to put up a crooked number, so I see their ceiling here as three goals while the Flyers can score four to five goals. However, this feels like a four to one game as Vancouver is not going to be able to put up as many shots as they did against Edmonton. The under has hit in six of their last seven games between one another. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona Coyotes vs. Boston Bruins The Arizona Coyotes continue their early season travels east as they head to the coast to take on the Boston Bruins in Boston. The Coyotes were smoked in their opener, 6-2, by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Boston comes in 1-0 thanks to a 5-2 win at Washington to open their season. The Coyotes are 29-60 in their last 89 road games and 30-70 in their last 100 overall. The Bruins are 40-18 in their last 58 home games and 69-33 in their last last 102 Saturday games. The over is 18 to 7 to 4 in Coyotes last 29 overall. The over is 7 to 1 to 1 in Bruins last 9 overall. The Coyotes are 0 to 8 in the last 8 meetings in Boston and 5 to 21 to 2 in the last 28 meetings. Boston is a much better team than the Coyotes. The Coyotes were terrible on offense, defense, and received awful goaltending last season. Arizona ranked last in goals per game, last in shots per game, 30th in goals against per game, and last in shots against per game last season. They looked awful in their season opener, scoring just two goals and allowing six goals on a whopping 53 shots on goal. Meanwhile, the Bruins looked good in their first game. Boston's offense got off to a hot start, scoring five goals on 30 shots on goal. Linus Omark was sharp in the net in the first game, stopping 33 out of 35 shots faced. The Arizona Coyotes have been horrible on the road these last few years and they were horrible defensively in their season opener. The Boston Bruins usually play their best hockey at home, and they've beaten the Coyotes like a red-headed stepchild over the years. It's hard to look anywhere but the home team here. Boston is the superior team, and they will take care of business in this game. So the Boston Bruins to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both teams went over this total in their opener. The Coyotes, including last season, have gone to the over in each of their last four games against teams with a winning record. Boston pumped in five goals in the opener, an empty netter included, and did a very good job getting shots on goal. Here come the Coyotes, who just allowed 57 shots on net in their first game. Expect a lot of open ice opportunities for Boston, and the Coyotes should benefit as well against a depleted Bruin defense. The over has cashed in seven of Boston's last nine as well as in 18 of Arizona. 
Arizona's last 29. Boston opened its regular season scoring five goals against the Washington Capitals, while Arizona opened its regular season allowing six goals to the Pittsburgh Penguins, with the opening games for both cashing over. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.